Okay, good morning everybody. This is Ben here and welcome to my very first video for 2019. And because as you know, my uh, the Denzel Washington and Tom Hanks movie collections that I did that I posted last night, those were my last two videos that I posted for the year. So this is my first video for 2019. So or 2019, so so I figured to start this off, we're going to be starting off with another one of my celebrity movie collections as I post, as I promised you at the end of the last video. In which this celebrity I'm going to be showing, I'm going to be showing you my Harrison Ford movies. My movies that's in my collection that star Harrison Ford. So, yeah, let's go ahead and get this started. First up is the Star Wars Trilogy box set. This includes all three of the original Star Wars movies. Star Wars, New Hope, Empire Strikes Back, and Return of the Jedi. It's a really cool edition. So, yep, I'm going to take this out. It comes in. This is the actual case. Alright. Here's the... Here's the first Star Wars movie on uh, VHS a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, definitely. So, yep. Of course, I also I have these on DVD, but I'm only gonna show the tapes. Here's the label, the print date. Okay, here's the Empire Strikes Back. All these tapes are THX certified and stuff. Battle continues. Yep. This is the label. Of course, and all, yep, all these are THX certified, and we have Return of the Jedi. VHS. And I have another copy of the Return of the Jedi, which is the CBS Fox print, and also another copy of the Empire Strikes Back, which is a newer release, but I figured when I saw these, I decided to get them just because rarity just part of my collection so yep now let's go ahead and put these back in oops alright sorry if my toe is in the shot just trying to hold the hold my phone and I'm trying to do this at the same time the harder it looks anyways let's get on to the other tapes he was Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom, 1984 release film. Yep. Actually comes out this way. Label and end label. Alright, here's Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade from 1989. This is one that my brother really likes. He likes the most. Out of all the Indiana Jones movies, this is his favorite. I don't have Raiders of the Lost Ark on VHS, but I'm still looking for that. Here's the label and label. Alright. We got Clear and Present Danger. 1994 release. Great. It keeps you on the edge of your, on the edge of your seat. Ford is Perfect by Jeff Craig, a 60 second preview. Wait a minute. Does the... Oh, the, the Indiana Jones tapes don't have a critic review. I, just, I was just making sure. Here's the label and the label. Up next, we have Air Force One. This is the widescreen edition. Breathtaking, gripping, nail-biting, edge you see entertainment by Peter Travers of Rolling Stone. A fast-paced, red-blooded action movie by Janet Maslin of the New York Times. Yep, presented the original theatrical aspect ratio, approximately 2.35 to 1, a.k.a. CinemaScope. Yep. I haven't, I haven't watched this movie, um, so I can't really say too much about it, but here's the label. Alright. Okay. Up next, we have What Lies Beneath. A first class thriller by Dennis Cunningham of WCBS TV. Spine Tingly by Michael Wilmington of the Chicago Tribune. 
Dust for bathtubs, which Psycho did for showers by Lou Luminek of the New York Post. Also co-produced by 20th Century Fox and Image Movers, except on this film, the 20th Century Fox logo is not shown on this movie, just the DreamWorks and Image Movers logos appear. But that's okay. Same with, like, kind of like how they did with Castaway, but except the 20th Century Fox logo appears in North America and DreamWorks internationally. Print date, December 20th, 2000. So, it's actually a good movie. We got K-19 The Widowmaker, another one of my brother's favorites, a masterpiece by Larry King. Side in the back, an extraordinary epic of the sea, a suspenseful and thrilling film by Gene Shalda, Today Show. Yep. I haven't watched this, so I can't really say too much about it, but here's the label. And that's all the Harrison Ford movies I have on VHS. And I kind of went through them. I hope, I hope I didn't forget anything, which I probably didn't. But now let's go on to the DVD, which I have Indiana Jones and the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. This is a 2008 release. This is a former Blockbuster, um, former Blockbuster purchase, even though Blockbuster, you know, is defunct now, unfortunately. I think there's a... Oh yeah, Steven Spielberg and George Lucas bring you the greatest adventure of all time in a non-stop thrill life by Richard Cool at the time. That's packed with sensational, awe-inspiring spectacles by Roger Ebert of Chicago Sun-Times. And I haven't seen this film yet, but I but I might give it out, check it out soon. I mean, I know not too many people really like this one, but I say it's alright. In my opinion, I think it is. This disc does have artwork. I think this is one of I think this is one of the last Paramount releases where they put discs with artwork on their discs because now they don't do that anymore. I think beginning like 2006, so I think that was like one of their last releases. They put artwork on their discs, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, that's it for my Harrison Ford movie collection, and I'll see you later if I have time.